Uh, here we have what you call skulls. Ne? I think you know them, isn't it? You have ever seen them in pictures, yes, sir. but you have never touched them to feel, isn't it? Yes, sir. So basically, my job for me being here today is to see that you have a better understanding of uh, these skulls. And if you have any challenge concerning about uh, this topic, please let me know so that I try to explain it and uh, you understand, thank you sir, you understand it uh, better. Ne? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These skulls are not in the order of uh, development from the primitive to the most advanced individuals mm -hmm. or from the most advanced, advanced individual to the most primitive. Mm -hmm. No. So I've just put them and I've not said that this is this. I will identify them, but you're going to help me to identify the from the primitive to most advanced. So, these skulls. I have skull number one, skull number two, three, four, and five. You think which one is the most primitive? By using one, two, three, four, five, which one is the most primitive? One. 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 So this is the most primitive. Yes, sir. Which is the next? The last one. The last one. The last one. This one. Okay. So you are saying that this one is here. Yes. Uh-huh. Which one is the next? The other one. The, this the one, middle, that, yeah. last, yes, this one, this one, that one, this one, one, like this. Yes. So and then, the last one is the so this one is the order is like this. Yes. So a question comes in: What did you use to identify the increase in the complexity of these organisms? What did you use to say that this is the most primitive and this is the most advanced? The what did you look size. at? The cranium the size. The cranium size. The, cr the canines. The they got smaller over here. Cranium size. The canines. The canines. And the prognathus. Yeah. Okay. The cranial ridge. The cranial ridge. Cranial ridges. And the brow ridge, sir. Brow ridge. Because smaller over. Okay. Oh. Let's pick one. So that we just identify, ne? So that we see. This is called the brow ridge. Brow ridge. Cool. This face, the type of face, the kind of face, the description of the face is what? Protruding. Protruding. Prognathus. Oh no, that's not the. Wait. Wait. And then when it's like this. I'm talking about the shape of the face. Flat slope. It's a slope. It's a sloping face. Yes. Okay, prognathus describes the jaws, the jaw, right? yes, yeah, not the face, the jaws. How protruding is it is based on the, the face, you understand? Mm. Yeah, if you look at this, this one is flat, but these jaws, they are out of the face. Check this, they are not that, Yes, sir. you understand? Why? Because the face is flat. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. um, this is, we said this is, these are canines, yes, sir. yes, I see them, canines. And then uh, we have the spaces between the teeth. Mm. How do you call them? Diastema. <coughs> Dia? Diastema. Diastema. Ne? Yes. And then uh, we have a shape of the jaw. We have the shape of the what? The of the jaw. Rectangle. Which which shape is it? Rectangle. Rectangle. Ne? Mm. It's a rectangular shape. Ne? Yes. What about this if you look Curve. at it? Curve. It Curve. is a curved kind of this. Yes. Semicircular. Yes. So if you look at the jaw, yeah, or the palate is is rectangular. You see? Yes. So what are the spaces called again between the? That's them. Yes, and then um, we have this, this. I see them. Mm. Yeah, we call these ones the cranial ridges. Yes. Sir. Cranial ridges. The function of these cranial ridges is to bring about muscle attachment. You understand? Muscle what? Attachment, and it means that if the muscle are, are, are attached here, there are so many muscles on the on the skull. Then it means that this animal, when it has a bite, the bite must be strong enough to kill the what the prey. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, that's why you see that this has cranial ridges, while this. So do you do you compare your bite and the. Uh, 
a gorilla. No. You think it's the same? No. Do you think your bite and then uh, and then uh, crocodiles are the same? No. No. Which one is stronger? You see that the one for the crocodile is much more stronger than this. Why? Because the crocodile on its cranial uh, on its uh, skull it has cranial ridges. Is it clear? Yes, sir. There is a difference between. Mm, there is a difference between a skull and a cranium. What's the difference? Cranium is because sometimes the cranium is the cranium is the house of the brain. It houses the brain. Houses the brain. Yes. And then the skull? It's the structure of the bony structure of the whole face. The skull is what? The structure of the All of it is a what? Is a skull. Is it? Yes, yes. But when we come to the brain box, the box where the brain is put, yes, it's called what? The cranium. The cranium. Is it clear? Yes. So when you look at this, this box is called cranium. When you look at this plus this, all of it, then it forms a what? A skull. So when you are saying in science, cranium is totally different from the skull. skulls. Is it clear? Yes. If you look at this, look at this skull. You see how big is it? Look at this skull. Do you see how big is it? Which one is bigger? This A, B. A, B. Which one is bigger? Skull, skull, B. Skull, B. You have A, skull, A, B. and skull, B. B. So, skull, B is bigger. Yes. If you look at skull, B, it's bigger than skull, A. Yes. Let's go to the brain box, which you call the cranium. Mm. A. A. Skull, A has a big cranium, mm. or skull, B has a big cranium. Skull, A. Skull, when you look at where the brain goes, skull, A has a big brain box however much this skull is smaller in size compared to this skull i see where the brain goes is what you call the cranium is it clear mm -hmm. now why are some organisms having big craniums while others have small craniums They have they don't have a well developed brain and they haven't evolved evolved it Why? to have a bigger brain capacity. Uh-huh. Yes. How is the brain capacity linked to the evolution? As 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 they evolve they, the brain affects the brain grows, it becomes more developed, so that means they need a larger brain capacity. To able to survive in a certain environment that they in. Okay, okay. If, 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 yes, yes. If you have a big brain capacity, mm. how is that important to you? That's what I want to hear. How is that big brain capacity important to you? Why should you have a bigger brain compared to the, to the, to the gorilla? Why? It's a Speciation. There's something which is linked to the bigger brain capacity. <clears throat> Something's there. Environment adaptation. Environment adaptation. There's something missing. Simple, 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 simple. So is the way they move, they, they move around? No. They move around? Okay. The bigger the brain, in actual sense, the higher the intelligence. Mm. And this must be linked to the body size. Because if you bring the cranium of the an elephant and your cranium, you see that, oh, the elephant has a bigger cranium. But if you compare it to its body size, you see that you have a bigger cranium. Because our body size is small, but still the brain is what? Oh. It's big. If you check here, let me do it like this so that you see it clear. If you check here, If you compare the craniums, craniums versus 
their sizes, you will see that this has a very small cranium compared to this. Even if you measure, bring uh, maybe a, a, a what? A, a gauze or a, a thread. Put it here, put it also here. You understand? When you measure this distance, yes, where the brain goes, you subtract this. You, you measure this again. You subtract it. You put it on the ruler, you know. From here to up to here, you put it on the ruler. For example, it is uh, 60 centimeters. I'm just giving an example. And then you measure from here up to here. And then you measure there. Maybe it is 5 centimeters. You understand? So that because the brain doesn't go here. Mm. These, these are only muscles. You understand? And then you get maybe uh, 55 centimeters. So when you get 55 centimeters, now when you measure this, you will see that this one is bigger than this. You understand? This one is bigger than this in terms of the size of the what? Cream. Of this, the body of the, the individual. Mm. So you will see that the cream keeps on increasing. Why? Do you think the gorilla is smarter than you? No. Why? Because you have a bigger cranium. You have more brain cells. More brain cells are linked to intelligence. What about? Does it mean that? Now, if I have a small head, so I'm not intelligent. If I have a big head, I'm more intelligent. If I have a... Does it link to... No. This is linked to species. When you are comparing, don't compare. When you are comparing this, you, 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 you don't say that now uh, humans. You compare between among us the humans. No. You compare, for example, humans and dogs. Because humans and dogs are different what? Species. Mm. Do you understand? So now you can compare. All of us, we have the same brain size. It depends on how do you use your brain. How do you trigger it? Yes. That's and this is linked to how much problems you have or how much problems you give your brain. That's why teachers are always saying they, what is on their tongues is please do this activity, do this activity. Why are they doing that? They are creating more problems to your brain so that the brain can think. So the more you think, the more you have problems, the more you're going to think. You know that tomorrow you're going to write a paper. Isn't it? Yes, we write. You know that's the problem. How much do you read? A lot. You see? You know that the, the paper is next week. How much do you read? It's very small. Ah, very small. Because the problem is what? It's not there. So the more you give the brain the problem, the more it's going to become smarter. And the more. Don't say that nah, the other one is smarter than me. me I'm never. Yeah. It's because you are putting yourself in a freedom life. I mean, I don't have to There is no problem. That's what, that's what you are saying. But yet, the problem is there. You don't want to solve them. Anyway, so the bigger the brain uh, size or the bigger the cranium, the higher the intelligence. The smaller the, 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 the cranium, the smaller the intelligence. So if this is having a bigger cranium, more intelligent. If, if this one has a smaller cranium, less intelligent. Yeah. So now, a question can come in exam. They bring... To. By the way, let me just identify them for you so that now I can start the questions in exam. Uh, do you have great tendency? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll talk about also you when they bring in the great tens uh, paper. Okay. Uh, the reason why you great tens you are here is because you're going to study a topic called uh, okay, it's, it's about skeleton. Skeletons and, and uh, in, in the skeleton, obviously, you have the what the skull. Is it clear? That's why you are here. So, this is a gorilla. This is a what gorilla. You, you know, gorilla. Ne? I know that you know it because it loves, it, it loves banana. Ne? Yes, this is a chimpanzee. Eh? This is who can guess this. <laughs> this is Australopithecus sediba. 
Karabo. 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 This is the star. The star. The star. Homona lady. Homona lady. Homona lady. Yes. And then this is Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. What is Homo sapiens? Us. Huh? It's us. Yeah, what is it? What is it? You, you, you say Homo sapiens. Mm. You said Ostropithica sediba. You said it's Karab. Mm. Homo naledi. You said you call it a star. Something. something. Mm. What about Homo sapiens? Mm. Humans. Human. Eh? So the moment you say Homo, is a human. The more than human, you say. Ne? Mm. Yes. The wise man. Is it? Yes. So now you have this. I'm going to pick maybe two of them. Ne? Let me just take out. I'm gonna come back to this so that I get out the picture I want. Ne? Show you how do we set I have three different skulls. Is it clear? Yes. When they bring these skulls and ask you to give the differences among these skulls, mm. in most cases, you don't bring all of them. And we ask you all of them. In most cases, we are bringing them, we ask you one by one, or two of them. We only ask when they, all of them, when they are asking you about the transition fossil. A transition fossil is that fossil which has both characteristic of characteristics of the ancestor. You understand? Mm -hmm. This ancestor and the next generation. So if you look at this, this, if you say that this came from this, you must show us. Let me just use this one there because this one is you understand. You must show us that. This thing, for example, if it is a transitional fossil, has the characteristics of this and the characteristics of this. But these characteristics is not exactly like this, and is not exactly like this. Yes. For example, if you look at the canines, the canines are big. Are you seeing them? Mm -hmm. But these canines are they big as this? No. Okay, these ones are bigger. Oh, they are smaller. They are smaller. They are smaller. Mm. Are they as small as this? No. Meaning that the canines of this are not as small as this, and they are not as big as this. Meaning that this is just there to transit from this point to this point. In other words, a transitional fossil it doesn't extinct. It's just transforming from one form to another. Species which changed from one point to another, it means that they are not extinct. You understand? If they just transformed into another, yes, iPhone. iPhone, I don't know too much of the iPhones. Ne? Mm. I don't much how people are using them, but I don't know too much of them. Okay iPhone 10. Is there iPhone 10? They call it I iPhone the X. Yeah, the numeral. Is there iPhone 12? Yes. Is there iPhone 13? Mm. You see? Is iPhone extinct? No. What happened to the iPhone? It's just transitioning. It's evolving into something else. Okay. I'm just, I don't know too much, but here, do we still have Motorola? Phones called Motorola? Have you yeah. ever heard about the moral phone? Yeah, so they still they eh? yeah. To me, I would say that they, they, they are extinct here. Okay, who has a moral here? No one. Who has an iPhone here? You see that you have an iPhone. Who has a Samsung? Ah, you see? So there is Samsung A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. You see? It's just evolving mm -hmm. into. But if, for example, that brand is gone, completely gone, then we shall say that it's extinct. So... When there is a transition of fossil, that fossil is not extinct, but it just transformed from one point to another point. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. So if they bring, they bring this, they brought this question. I think last year. Oh my God! I don't want to say anything about it, but the way how people were answering, 
is really it made me miserable. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a simple thing. And just a simple thing makes you to lose the mark. I always tell students, it's not about how much papers you write. It's about how much facts have you written on the paper. So, say that this species has characteristics of this. Gone. Has the characteristics of this. It resembles this. You understand? It resembles this and this. It's also wrong. How resemble? Tell us what just pick one feature and then talk about that feature. For example, you have talked about the, the flat face. The flat face of this is not as flat as this. Uh -uh. This face is not as sloping as this and is not as flat as this. Are you seeing? Don't just say that they have some similar characteristics in this one and this. You have to be specific. We talked about the canines. They are not as big as this and they are not small as this. I see. Check this. Pro ridge. Is this this one is not as big as this and is not as small as it. You see? So you, you have to compare between the two species. Is it clear? Which of the if they ask you to give the difference between this and this, what are you going to say? Now I want to hear from you what you studied, and then now I start to rectify. Yes. The cranial ridge for the uh, uh, the Homo sapien is larger and has a uh, has a larger brain capacity. Has a larger brain, whereas the gorilla has a small uh, cranium um, and a uh, small brain. Sir, so, you can also see that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. You say the the cranium of this hmm. is large. It's large, and then the cranium of this. Small. Good, but when you are, I'm coming. When you're answering there, it's better, it's good. The KO, where the examiner is not going to talk anything. The cranium of this is larger than, is 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 larger or is big compared to this body size. size. Yes, that statement must be there. And then this one small. is smaller small. compared to the. Body size. Please always add that. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Uh, I saw someone. Yes. I was just going to add on to his answer by saying you could also say that the deluxe cranium is elongated, whereas that one is more compact. Is oh, is is talking about the the scar. So if, in that case, you can talk about this one is flat. What? Uh, sorry, sloping. What? Face. What well, is one? Is flat face. Is it clear? Yes. Uh huh. The bridge of the gorilla is well developed. Bridge, well developed. Well developed compared to the one of the humans. Of humans. Have no no Okay. Yeah. Lastly, lastly, I know that there are a lot of differences, but no, no just want one one. Eh? Eh? So you can see with the first skull, it has a cranial ridge, whereas the last one doesn't have a cranial ridge. Cranial ridge? Yes. No cranial ridges. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Now, can you talk about Foreman Magnum? Yes. yes. The one okay. Uh, I'm coming to you, ne? Sir. There's something I, I want to, to, to spot from them. Uh -huh. Talk yeah. about Foreman Magnum. Can you talk about Foreman Magnum when the skull is like this? No. no. Why? Because, because you can't see. Can see. You can't see. One. Okay. Foreman Magnum is this hole which connects to the spinal and cord. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. So now, when the skull is like this, you can't talk about the foramen magnum because you don't see it. Is it clear? Yes. You only talk about foramen magnum when it's like this. When they bring it in the paper, when it's like this. Can you talk about the sloping face, the no. flat face, when, the, when it's like this? No. no. Why? Because you don't see it. You understand? Mm. So you only talk about what you see. And sometimes they can say only focus on the lower jaws. Lower jaws. Only the lower jaws. They said that give the difference between the two. The lower jaws. Give the difference between the two. A, B. Uh huh. A, uh huh. Small canines. Large canines. Large canines. Large canines. Large canines. 
How can you say that it's one thing when it's yeah. no, there's, Remember that when you talk about yeah, protruding, yeah, yeah. you are comparing with something. Mm. Yeah. So you want to know that it's protruding when you are not, you don't have the upper part. Yeah. You understand? But talk about the shape. I see. Yeah. Angular. Okay. Yeah, you can say that. What you use? Uh, yes, I appreciate your input because it's in great time. Is it? So it's in great job. Oh, because they told me. Oh, it's in great job. But it doesn't do that. So oh, okay. So look, guys. Ne? So now we have. Remember, we have what you call the way how you can say it in layman's language, and the point we are looking for when you are marking. Is it clear? So when you are marking, yes. What happens here? You talk about the rectangular jaw. Well, here you can talk about semicircular mm. or C shape, something like that. You understand? Yes. Talk about the chin. What about the chin? What about the chin? On this one, it's more protruding out. Uh -uh. More developed. Oh, more developed. <laughs> uh, not well developed. Check. Well, yeah. It's not developed. You see? Mm. It's less developed. The chin. The, the, the chin is this carving. You will see it clearly eh? when we do it like this. Check now. It's a nice chin. <laughs> eh? Isn't it? But when you bring this one here, you won't see that the chin is there. Check. I see. Yes. So now, uh, you talk about the chin. Then now, another thing is, when you see it like this, which of the two is walking on two limbs? Wait, 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 wait. How do you call walking on two limbs? Bipedalism. Bipedalism. What is bipedalism? It's the ability to walk on two limbs. Hey, that's what I wanted. When you say it in exam, we're gonna cross it. Walking a belly to walk on two limbs. No. Which limbs? The lower limbs. The lower limbs, the high limbs. The lower limbs. You you see? So we have the fore limb and the hind limb or the lower limbs. Mm. I see. So yes. walking on two mm. hind limbs. Hind when you, you add the word hind. Okay. Yeah. Word as long as you put the word, you specify that the lower one. You understand? Yeah, Whether you use the leg or the limb, but that word must be there. You understand? I wanted to differentiate them. Yes. What is this? Hands, ne? The hands, ne? What is this? So, so when you say that walking on two legs, correct, ne? Okay. What is this for the cow? Mm. Hey, tell me, how can you say walking on two limbs? On two legs, ne? Oh, oh, yeah. So, what is this? You said this is the hands, eh? We are correct, ne? Cool. Let's go to the cow or to the dog. What is this? Tell me the hands. Tell me that they are hands. Uh, you see? So, now how do we depreciate? The moment you put them down, they are no longer hands now. They become legs. So, it's better to say hind to add that word. You understand? So when the chimpanzee is walking like this, sharp. When it's like this, it won't walk with this forward. Uh -uh. Is it clear? Please take note of that. Thank you. Yes. She's asking if you mean spell hind. Eh? Hind is spelling hind. Oh. Hind. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> let's let's continue, guys. We are talking about which of the two walks on two hind limbs? A, B. A. A, B. A. Why are you saying A? Because the bottom belongs at the bottom of the skull. Wait. Ah. Wait. Got you. Got you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Any other? Don't, don't you fail to tell me. You know why? Mm. Because you are here to study. If you knew, you didn't have come here. You understand? So relax. 
relax. When you give a wrong answer, I become happy. I will know that the reason why I'm here, at least I've changed someone's life by one mark. Yes. Hey, do you know what's one mark? The day you get 29.3 is the day you know that hey, one mark is it's not even one mark. <laughs> it's not even half. I only need 0 0.2 so that it becomes 29.5 and they round off to 30. Do you see? Yes. So one mark to me is very important. Is it clear? Mm. Yes. So now the forum and magna is in forward position. You understand? Here the forum and magna is backward position. Look, what does it mean? Let me show you here. Mm. It's not a face. Mm. I'm calling this. Put it straight. Where is the forum and magna? At the back of the skull. I see. Now, if we put the forum and magna, what's going to happen to this car? Check. You see? Mm -hmm. So definitely, if it's slanting, imagine when you are walking like this. What is happening? Are you going to walk step up? Mm -hmm. No. The moment is not straight here. The more it goes in the backward position, the more it's going to be slanting. The more it's in the forward position, the more it's going to be straight. Yes, yes. So, this, the position of forum and magnum, great things, they will ask you this thing. Yes. The position of forum and magnum is, 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 is it helps to know whether the organism is working on two limbs or is working on four limbs. You understand? So, it is in the forward position to allow the spine to connect vertically. I see. It connects what? Vertically. It is in the forward position to allow the spine to connect vertically. Is it clear? You, 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 you have uh, uh, grandfathers and mothers, isn't it? Mm. How do they work? <laughs> do they work like me? Mm -mm. Huh? Well, no, your grandfather is working like me. No. Like this. No. So it means that your grandfather is short. No. <laughs> if he's tall, then definitely is working like this. How old is he? Don't tell him he's 40. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some grandfathers who... 40. Yeah, 40, yes. Yeah. Imagine you had a kid in grade 9. They are there, yes. And then? Your kid is a kid. Your kid? You are now 25. Ne? Mm -hmm. Definitely the other girl or the other boy will be maybe somewhere, somewhere 60. Mm. And then, is the naughty one. Boom. Another. You understand? Yeah. By the time you are 40, ah, uh, hey. Another one. Yeah, so it's possible. So guys, uh, let's come back here. Ne? Thank you, sir. We have three factors which determine whether the organism is working on two limbs or is, 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 is working on four limbs. Ne? The first factor is the position of foramen magnum. It must be in the forward position to allow the spine to connect vertically. You understand? The moment is not vertical, then definitely it's going to be slanting. Mm. You understand? Number two is the shape of the spine. The shape of the spine must be S shaped. Why is it supposed to be S shaped? To allow flex flexibility. You understand? Yes. Do you think your gogo -go is having S shaped spine? I bet. Do, 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 do. Huh? It's C. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Okay, tell us. Do they work on two limbs? Yes. Uh, yes. They have a stick. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes, they have a stick. They, they, they have a yes. They have a stick, and the others they don't even stop. On. They have a wheel. Mm. Yes, I see. Mm. So the more it becomes like this, the more you are changing from being a bipedalist to a quadrupedalist. You understand? Yes. So the shape of the spine is very important. Why? Because that go when you ask the that goggle to do this, hey. 
<laughs> yeah, you understand? You see that the flexibility was not there. So it allows this body to be what? Flexible. flexible. Number three is the size of the pelvis. Pelvis, ne? Mm. Yeah, pelvis girl. Eh? Uh, Short and wide. What, what, what is the description? Short and what? Wide. And wide. Short and wide. Wide. Why is it short and wide? To support the what? The upper weight. I always tell this um, uh, to to my students. It's, it's a not a statement, but it's a fact, and it's, it helps me to tell my students to remember. Why do so-called tall guys love short girls? <laughs> Yeah. Who, who can tell it? Yeah. It's true. You, you, you want to find you want to find a tall guy with a tall lady. Never. Never. You will find. Anybody say that? If the guy is, if the lady is tall and the guy is short, they say, how can he go with a a shorty, a, a shorty, a shorty, a shorty what? A, 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 a shorty guy when he is tall. You know why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's because short. Mm. In most cases, when they are short, they are wider. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. And the moment they are short and they are wide, what happens? They can support the upper weight. They can support the upper weight. I think you understand now. Yeah, I understand. Question. In <laughs> fact, should your father buy you a long bed and small one. Or they should buy you a short one and big. Which one do you want? Tell us. Tell us. Be, 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 be honest. Do you want a long one like this? Long, long like here and small like this? No. 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 But all short and wide. Yeah. Why? Because it's going to support you nicely. So the moment is short, and wide is supposed to be the upper weight. Yes. You understand? Mm. And the moment it's long and, and narrow. narrow. Ah. It's not it's nature. Not <laughs> the, 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 the man will be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's not yeah, nature. It's the truth. It's not nature. It's not nature. Yeah. So, so when it's short. Ah. Very <laughs> so you guys, uh, you must remember with that, that the moment is short and wider. Remember about your bed. It must be short and why? So that it can support the what? The upper weight. <laughs> I'm about to finish up, but there are still some few things I need to talk about. Let's talk about. Let's look at this. Question can come like this. Oh, oh. ah, okay. So I have to go and dig another person. <laughs> 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 If you look at these two, are you seeing them? Okay, let me do like this so that you see clearly. Yes, do you see now them? Look at it. Is what do they tell you about the dentition? That's the dentition. Eh? What do they tell you about the diary they are feeding on? A, B. Uh huh. What are they feeding on? What are they feeding on? A, what are they feeding on? Flesh. flesh. flesh yeah. to, so you're able to tear through the skin. Why, 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 why are you saying that this is flesh? The canines are larger, yeah. so you're able to tear through the skin. Yeah. And then there's what? Yeah. More plants. Oh. 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 Question comes. I'm going to ask you a question now. If you're telling me that, why, why are you saying this is flesh? Canines. canines eh? I have some people who are having sharp canines. Why? Do they feed on flesh? No. So, huh? That is, these are the people who like nyama. Yeah! They like nyama. They like nyama. Okay. Basically, these sharp canines, yes? Yes. It shows that this is feeding on raw food. You understand? It could be meat. It could be even trees. There are some, no, these are gorillas, right? they feed yeah. on, they, 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 they do with the, this, this, the back of the tree, mm. you understand? And then they can take what? 
that uh, food they are, they are eating. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. What about this? So meaning that this one is raw food, tough. See? Mm. Yeah. What about this? Cooked. Cooked. Soft. Cooked. Mm, soft food. You see? Why? Because that is not natural. Imagine they give you a chicken. Ah, Eat it. Ah. No, no cooking. Eat it. <laughs> Since these ones were not cooking, that's why they still have these canines. So that they can tear the meat. Terrible. You understand? Yes. Another question. Let me use three of them. Guys, I'm using this not because they're in that order. I'm just using it so that to bring about that picture I'm looking for. Yes. So I have three skulls here. Oh, what is this? Tools. Tools, eh? Yes. A, B, C. Which one is more advanced? C. 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 No. no, which one? The B. 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 Okay, A, B, C. Which one is more B. advanced? B. 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 Ah, you, are, you are saying this is more advanced yeah. than this? Yeah. Serious? Yes. Okay, more advanced. Which one is next? B. 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 Which one is more advanced? A, B. 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 Which one is you, you are saying this is more advanced? Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> this is more advanced. Yes. When well, you look at it. Yes. Okay. So this is primitive. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Primitive. Next. More advanced. Yes. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> now, this goes where here? A B C. A. This goes where? A. A. To here. Then. This goes where? B. 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 C. This one goes here. C. Ne? Okay. How, why is this linked to this? How did the science find out that this is linked to this? Because it's dumb. Dumb, eh? <laughs> How do you know that it's dumb? Because of the spring science. You are not there. <laughs> you are not there. How did you know that? No, no, no. We are taking it not as a gorilla now. Mm -hmm. We are taking it as a primitive. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, appearances. Australopithecus appearances. appearances. You understand? Yes. So, how do you know that? This is going that. Actually, it means that when we are discovering this, mm -hmm. we find we found this associated with this. Mm -hmm. In that layer or in that area, we did not find anything less than this. Meaning that this organism was using this mm -hmm. as its tool. Mm -hmm. Then this with this, then this with this. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Look. This and this, which one requires more thinking to develop? B. This and this, which one has more uh, uh, cranium? Second one. Second one. Don't you see that? The more you are primitive, the more thinking you are having. Mm -hmm. The more you are advanced, the bigger the cranium, the higher the brain cells, and the higher the inter intelligence. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. And then if you look at this, Look, this one maybe is just peering, maybe, and hitting. Isn't it? Damn, nothing magic here. What about this? Oh, whoa, look. Why these calves hold? It increases the grip check. You see? Mm. Why this one is slipper? You see? They had to put on that when we're going there, when, I, when I'm throwing it, it, it goes down. Maybe we have to put some curves. You see, that is thinking. That's brain. Mm -hmm. I see. So that it can be. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It doesn't stop there. It can be. Uh -huh. I see. Uh -huh. It can kill. It can be used for protection still. Uh -huh. It can be used to cut. Check. It has sharp edges. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It doesn't stop there. If you come too much, bah, on the head. Is it? Yes. You are done. What about this? Here we stand. <laughs> you see, it has a simple, but it's more complex. Yes. How? Because there is specialization. The more you are specialized, the more you are advanced. Do you doubt about it? No. How many services are you doing? Seven. seven. You think professors are doing seven? Seven. Mm -hmm. Just even even not your subject, just a small. They have just specialized in that 
So the more it's specialized, the more it's advanced. So this, it has a sharp edge, maybe for cutting, for peeling, or what, and also it has the, this for, they can even add here a, a, a wood, so that it becomes a spear. Chaka Zulu. Is that it? Huh? Is that it? Yes. Yeah, so that it becomes the more. Huh? Yeah, those tools. So how do you call this in the sense? <laughs> the first tool to be used by the humans. <laughs> Homo habilis. Homo habilis are the organisms which first use the tools on one condition. Which condition is that? If they bring a viral um, genetic tree mm. and they have not mentioned the tools on the viral tree or there is no scale, then the first organism to use tool is Homo habilis. Yes. Is that it? But if they bring a family genetic tree and there is tools there, please check on there and then you see which organism. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just want to see if you can use it to identify. But if they just, the question is just, then you just talk about Homo habilis. The handyman. So we call these ones Odo One tools. Odo One. Odo One. Odo One. Odd one. Yes. So these ones, yeah, they are more sharper. These ones, they are like the spear. It becomes more blades. Né? It, it, it becomes more edges to cut, isn't it? Yeah. So, but these ones, the first tool to be used, we, we call them odd one. What? Odd one tools. Uh -huh. A question is going to come like this. Guys, this question, students fail. This question, students fail. The one I'm going to tell you. <laughs> they don't fail because they don't know. It's they fail because they didn't write the fact. Which evidence? You know that. These are evidences which, which support the hominides. Yeah? Which evidence is this? This one. Artifacts. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, so, 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 so. Evidence. It has an evidence. Yeah, yeah. Which evidence of evolution? Yeah. Which evidence of evolution? Which, which evidence? Cultural, cultural evidence. Cultural evidence. Yeah. Why are you saying cultural um, evidence? Because there's a primitive difference between those factors. Mm. Okay, which evidence? Is what is this? What are these? Scouts. Scouts. So, which evidence is this? Uh, which evidence is this? Don't be scared. Say it. They, they say it because if you don't say it and it's there in the heart, Jesus, uh, you, 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 I want to know. No, no, no. Eh? So, 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 huh? Which evidence is this? Fossils. Fossils. Sure. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Why are you scared? Yes. The sure. fossil evidence. Yeah. Some people they. they, they no, scared, okay. Let me tell you this. If you don't have. If you don't remove that thing, that's exactly what you're going to do in the exam. What is that? You know what you do? You write the correct answer, you scratch it, you put your own one. Because this so called is certain is telling, ah, no, remove it, put another one. Mark is gone. Do you understand? So make, make sure that you are confident about what you're saying. Yes. Okay, guys. No, what? Like the first one, cultural evidence. I'm, I'm going, yeah, yeah. I'm going to explain to them so that they know exactly what they're supposed to write. Guys, here you see evidences if they they can bring it uh, to support the hominides or to support the out of Africa hypothesis. The evidence there are three evidences. This is fossil evidence, so they are skulls. Cool. This is cultural evidence. Ne? Please don't say tools. This is cultural evidence. Mm. You understand? Mm. Example of the cultural evidence is use of tools. Mm. Is it clear? Mm. Then you have the genetic evidence. Don't say mitochondrial DNA. Mm. Example of genetic evidence is mitochondrion DNA. Is it clear? Mm. Mitochondrion DNA. DNA. When they ask you the evidence, Please talk about genetic evidence, the fossil evidence, and the cultural, cultural evidence. When they ask you the example of the fossil evidence, then you talk about these cows. Now, when they talk about the out of Africa hypothesis, there the problem comes in. 
and people lose marks. And they don't lose marks because they don't know. They have written something very important, is good, but because of one word. Which word is that? <laughs> Just one word, you lose six marks. <laughs> Only. Where are you supposed to put that word on? You see, man. When I mark, you see, I'm kicked. You see? Where, where do I put this word on? Okay. Let me explain to you. When they ask you a question concerning these fossils, and uh, they say that to support out of Africa hypothesis, modern humans originated from Africa and migrated to the rest of the world. Yes, basically they did that during uh, the Homo erectus period. Right? Mm. So, what evidence support that yes, modern humans they originated from Africa? The first uh, um, uh, evidence you're gonna say is fossil evidence. Cool. Explain, and then you have to say that the you talk about the oldest fossil. Mm. Which oldest fossils are those? The fossils of Adipithecus, Osteopithecus. Okay, eh? What did I say? The fossils of Adipithecus, Osteopithecus. Yes, homo. and the Homo habilis. Mm. We are only found in Africa. Mm. Don't add the word oldest because they want to ask you what about the newest? It is not found anywhere else. So. You just have to say the fossils of Adipithecus, Osteopithecus, and Homo habilis. Yes, we are found only in Africa. When you come to Homo erectus and Homo sapien, you add the word only. Uh, oldest. We want to hear that word oldest. The oldest fossil of Homo erectus and Homo sapien we are found in. Africa. Can I repeat? Fossils of Adipithecus. Yes? And Osteopithecus. You give examples. Né? Fossil of, of Adipithecus. Adipithecus is Adipithecus remittance. Yes. Né? Osteopithecus. We have a lot of Osteopithecus. We have Osteopithecus apparensis, Osteopithecus africanus, Osteopithecus uh, robustus, Osteopithecus. We have a lot of them. Né? But we only talk about Osteopithecus, yes, Africanus, or you just say Osteopithecus, you give examples of Osteopithecus. You understand? And then Homo habilis. We are only found in Africa. Please don't add the word only. Sorry. Yes, don't add the word oldest. Ne? Why? Because they're going to ask you where is the newest. And then when you go to those two, the newest one, the Homo erectus, because they could walk on two limbs. The Homo erectus and the Homo sapiens. sapiens, then you add the word the oldest, were found in Africa. Why? Because you have Homo erectus or Homo sapiens in other countries. Don't you have them there? You understand? So, but the oldest was found in what? Africa. In Africa. Yes, I think um, that is it. I think I have not uh, forgotten anything. Let me check and see. So you guys, when they bring the question, make sure that if they bring it like this, answer it like that. When you bring it like this, answer it like this. When they bring it like this, answer it. Don't just write because you crammed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes. Cram, cool, but know how to apply. Do you understand? Yes. When they bring, the way they bring it, make sure that it is cool. There are some things I've not talked about, about human evolution. I just wanted to talk about these skulls. Um... Scientific names, how do you write the scientific names? Um, if they bring, okay, look at this. Just last question. Eh? Just last question. They may not bring it here like this, but in a different version. Focus. Uh, based on, it comes like this. Based on their face. Yes? Give the differences between this and this. Based on the face. I see. Mm. It can be like this, based on the face. It can be like this. You understand? So, please don't talk about things are not, which are not on the face. Don't talk about the what? The face. the face. Talk about the sloping face. Talk about the garbage. You understand? Yeah. The marks will depend on the question they have what? They have asked you. So, if they bring it with a specific agenda, 
please answer based on the specific agenda. Please don't just write. Don't just write. We're not after about your words. We're after about your facts. So can you ask about the size? The size? How? Which one is bigger, which one is smaller? No, 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 no. We don't, we don't ask your size. Even sometimes they say that these diagrams are drawn not on scale. Isn't it? Yes. So, in most cases, when they ask you about the size, they want you to bring about the comparison. They will say that this is bigger compared by the size. Do you understand? So that you bring about at least some measurements in there. So since it's not a practical, it's a theoretical thing. If it was a practical measure, then cool. But it's not a practical, it's a theoretical thing. So they can't ask you, this one is big. Please don't say this is big. This is small. Ah, uh, uh, you'll get it wrong. Aha, uh -huh. lastly, yes. What is this? You, you, you said protruding jaws, eh? Mm. How, which word do we use? To describe progna, prognanthus, ne? Mm. Ah. So, how do you describe this? It is a smaller jaw. No, no. What you use that? What you used? Prognathus. Huh? How do you describe it? It's less prognathus. And then this? More, more prognathus. Thank you. That's what I want. When you're describing this, if the moment you use the word prognanthus, yes, say that this is not prognanthus. This is prognanthus. Is it clear? When you talk about jaws using this, because it's the same thing. Yes, here you talk about more protruding jaws, less protruding jaws. You understand? Mm. But when you use the word prognanthus, it's not prognanthus. Is prognanthus. Okay, so see the difference, guys. Yes, yes. Do you understand? Eh? Yeah. yeah, please. I, I, I was trying.